It's a little bit windy out here today, but we're going to do some sanding down on the doors on the trifle claim. show you I've got the doors back on now I've not lined them up yet they've literally just been bolted on just so that I can actually sand and prepare them now this is the as you say let me just try and show you the finish is what we got that's the new finish obviously it's a bit dusty at the moment as you can see and if I just transfer that over to the old picture of the old doors you can actually see the state of these um, doors and what they was the sort of condition they was in this is the original color as you can see it's a slight different variation but this is probably I think this has been touched up, the old stuff, at some stage in its life, as I mentioned before. Uh, so the colour I'm using, as I say, is the actual right colour anyway. So as you can see, the quality and difference of the paint, this is all flat and uh, not very shiny at all compared to what we've got here now. So as I say, I still haven't buffed this up. But all I'm going to basically do now is just literally to sand these doors down. As I say, I'm going to line them up finally. I've got to move the hinges in and out a bit per turn. I can do that afterwards and this is also an indication that this car has been obviously patched up and t uh, painted before there's actually some runs there on one of these doors there so and the color match there I don't know whether you can see there's actually a two different colors where someone's put the stripe along the pin stripe along the side and you can actually see the difference of the uh, color where the doors have actually been painted in the past so this is probably original and this is obviously not original so this is nearer to the color which the car actually is now or what it will be when I finish so there's a little bit of work on the black stuff here this again is just a slight rub down treat this uh, surface rust with a rust inhibitor and then they'll be painted satin black or something like that don't forget all the trim has got to go on around the doors I've started taking the handles and the locks off as you probably know I've still got this one to do here whoever's painted it before as you can probably see there they still got the gold paint around where they've not masked up properly so that is one of the things that if you take the door locks off you're going to get a more professional job and at the end of the day that's what it's all about so I'm going to be using the DA and I'm going to at least at the beginning start dry try dry sanding these panels as I say I'm going to be using the Merca 500 grit discs hopefully just to try and flat all this off if it flats off fine that's fine if it needs a little bit of preparation in certain areas then obviously I'll have to treat them as individual but there's really not really much on these doors to be uh, worried about so it will just be hopefully just a, uh, a flat off of these and then go over the base coat. As you can see, this is sanded down with 500 paper. I've not gone fully down yet, but I just want to show you what I'm looking for in the sanding process. Now, again, this is this was all sort of textured this surface where there was little bits of um, paint that had peeled up and uh, lacquer that had peeled up, for example. And that is now smooth enough for me to actually paint. Down here, I don't know if you can probably see this. We've still got a little bit of orange peel showing through, so I will sand that some more. But I purposely didn't go right to the ends, obviously this side, because that's a freshly painted wing there. 
and I've got to really master that. But I just wanted to get a little bit of sanding done to show you the procedure, which I'm going through. These top edges and stuff like that, and all around the edges, I will finish off by hand. For example, it is all being dry sanded, and all you do there is just literally just get the bits that you couldn't really get to with the DA and sand them smooth by hand. Again, I'm using the 500 again. I'm just literally taking the top off of the original paint or the lacquer that's already there. And uh, this should give me a nice surface to paint onto. So that's what I'm doing here. So when you run your hand over the panel in question, you basically don't want to fill anything. And then transitions between stuff that's from underneath to the top and here for example I can still feel a difference between the base smoothness there and the lacquer so that's obviously got to be sanded more your fingers do all the work the majority of it sanded down and you can tell when you rub your fingers over it if there's anywhere which needs touching up so your hands would do the work so I'm now happy with that because I can't feel a thing so that's nice so all again up here is all, all okay again you've got to do these bits by hand because you just can't get a mechanical sander in there and if you're using the right bit of grit of paper and not trying to persevere with the same old bit you've done the whole job with. Get a new bit out. And now, there we go. Wax and grease remover on it. And that's done. And this paper, if you've got an airline, cleans out very easily. And that makes all the difference. What I'm going to do is, um, where I took this Scots Guard or chip guard rather, up to this seam here. I'm going to continue it through the doors, just the lower edge of the door, up to that seam there, just to give that bottom edge protection because these do have stone chips on them and it's obviously a vulnerable place. So I'm just going to continue that line through to the rest of the car on the doors and that will just aid protection for the bottom of the doors because that's where they normally go. Right, well I'm just going to carry on now and finish off sanding this door. I'm going to basically do the same procedure to all the doors and we'll come back and see after I've done that. Right, I've rubbed down all doors, look who's turned up, look. Jimmy, just started the mini up. Give it a run. Give it a blip. How's it looking? Alright. Started up first time. Alright, whack it off then. Right, Jimmy's just come home, so he's just giving me a hand. Right, I've rubbed down all four doors now. And what I'm doing to the bottom of the doors is to put a bit of that chip guard along the bottom. I think I spoke about that earlier on. Just on the bottom edge of the door where you get the odd stone chip there. There was a couple of stone chips there. I've rubbed them back on that. So, But just to protect that, I'm going to do the bottoms of the door. So we just masked it up. Masked up. As you can see, I've sanded down. There's quite a different few layers of gold there. There's one, two, three different layers of gold there I can see anyway. So um, it has obviously had a respray before. But all around here, all the way around there. It's very, very windy out here at the moment. I don't know if you can hear me. But, um, yeah, so all the doors are done now. As you can see, all this has been feathered in nicely. Now, I normally would uh, prime these light spots here, but um, as this gold covers really well, I'm just going to uh, obviously try and cover it as it is sort of thing. So uh, that's what I'm going to do there. But we're just going to mask up this side then, and we're, then we're going to spray the chip card stuff on. 
Right, okay, I've just uh, put the old Gravitex stone chip chip guard on the bottom edge of the door. I'm going to let that go off. Let's go around the other side. Just to let you see. There you go, both sides are done. And that's going to actually protect the uh, bottom edge of the door. And it lines up with the other stone chip guard that's already there. So I thought I'd just do that. I might as well do that and say give it some extra protection. As there were stone chips along the bottom. So um, I'll leave that for about 10 minutes and go and wash the gun out now. Then I'll come back and I'll pull this off and then we can have a look at the doors. i say the doors hopefully then need just a little bit of uh, preparation in a couple of little areas. And um, it's probably a bit late today and a bit too windy to spray. So if that's the case... I'll probably do it tomorrow so I'll see you in a minute when we'll uh, take the uh, masking tape off let's get this off oh look what we got here a little look Put him down. there we go Goes on really well this stuff. That is a lovely straight edge, and once we've got um, it painted gold, it's going to blend in lovely with the original stuff which we've got there, as you can see and it'll also give the bottom of them doors some nice protection so there we go all the way along to the back so yeah it's not a bad job a little bit of rubbing there to do but that's nothing that's only a slight smooth out and once i've done that we're basically ready for paint so as you can see the nice surface we got here it's a 500 grit wet and dry paper i've done all this dry sanding by the way and um, hopefully we're looking for the same sort of finish as we've got there so I'm gonna leave it for there uh, it's a little bit too windy now it's getting on to be well it's quarter past four as I say but um, it's not worth me doing any work out here now once I've done this the doors are all prepared and tomorrow it's a mask up and then we'll get paint and hopefully weather permitting if it doesn't rain tomorrow it will be all base coated and also top coated and that leaves all I've got to do then is the uh, bonnet and the boot for paint I'll line the doors up afterwards as I said to you I'm not really too worried about that at the moment they're in place that's the main thing and I'm quite happy with the progress which we've done today even though we've not done a lot but it's little steps that you uh, take that get you in the right direction providing you're taking them little steps again I've only been out here for about two and a half hours all the doors are now prepared we've got the Scotch guard chip guard done as you know on the bottom of the doors there I'm happy with that and we're one step nearer to completion thanks very much see you again in the next video bye for now